An Extraordinary Teacher A Bible Story About Priscilla By Rachel Spire Weaver and Anna Haggard Illustrated by Eric Elwell Priscilla! Priscilla! Priscilla's mother called repeatedly. She couldn't find her daughter, and she was getting worried. The sun was setting, making it difficult to search for Priscilla in the dark. Then Priscilla appeared, running. Dusty from an afternoon outside, she was carrying a stack of books in her arms, her hair falling from her thick, dark braids. Where were you? Priscilla's mom exclaimed as she had pulled her close. I was reading by the gardens, Priscilla said, breathless. I'm sorry, I lost track of time again. I get lost in the stories. Priscilla's mom chuckled. Reading was what Priscilla loved most. Priscilla was one of the lucky girls in Rome who went to school, and she spent many afternoons studying the Torah, the story of God's love for the Jewish people, Priscilla's people. But Priscilla knew that God had sent his son Jesus to earth so that everyone, not just the Jewish people, could know God's love. She couldn't keep such good news to herself. Priscilla, her mom said as she was tucking Priscilla into bed that night, do you know how proud of you I am? Priscilla smiled with her nose tucked under the covers. Why? she asked. I hear you teaching your friends about God. You have a gift. What do you mean? Priscilla sat up, leaning on her elbow. Just like God gave us the ability to run or paint or sing, God has also entrusted each of us with special spiritual gifts, like caring for others, teaching, and hospitality. Really? said Priscilla. Her mom paused. God has given you the gift of teaching and has big dreams for you to use your gifts. Priscilla's heart swelled. As she fell asleep, she wondered how God would call her to teach someday. As Priscilla grew, she remembered her mother's words. She wanted to be ready when God invited her to use her gifts. So she studied hard. No one could equal Priscilla as a scholar, except one boy named Aquila. Priscilla, do you want to study with me today? Asked Aquila as they began walking home from school. Yes, said Priscilla, but I'll race you first, she shouted, dashing past him. Surprised, Achilla took off, closing in, just as Priscilla's house came into view. After that, Achilla and Priscilla studied together each day. They loved God's word. More than anything, they shared a dream to help people know God. When they grew up, they decided to pursue that dream together and got married. Priscilla and Aquila worked together, making roofs for houses and tents for market booths. Aquila, Priscilla said with a twinkle in her eye, let's race. Aquila grabbed his needles and thread and got to work. When Aquila had sewn his last stitch, he looked up and saw Priscilla beaming 
hands in her lap. Her tent was already done. They spent their days racing to see who would be the victor. Sometimes Aquila would win. Sometimes Priscilla. But they always had fun together. One day, the marketplace was busier than usual. Emperor Tiberius is sending the Jews from Rome. Gather your things and leave, Priscilla's neighbor told her in the street. Priscilla rushed home to tell Achilla, and quickly they collected everything they owned and headed to the Greek city of Corinth. Safely away from the emperor, they set up their shop and began to sell tents in the new city. As they were cleaning up one day, they had a visitor. I'm Paul, said a man with a kind face. Before Priscilla could reply, Paul shook her hand. I hear you make tents, he said with a bright smile. So do I. Is that right? Sit down and tell us about yourself, said Achilla. That night, Paul shared how he had met Jesus and had been traveling around the world teaching God's love. I want the people of Corinth to know that God loves them. Will you join me in telling the good news? Paul said. Priscilla and Achilla's hearts stirred. God was calling them to use their gifts. We'd love to teach with you, said Priscilla. Why don't you stay and make tents with us? Paul accepted. During long afternoons, stitching leather tents together, Paul, Priscilla, and Achilla had exciting discussions about Jesus and scripture. Just like in school, Priscilla wanted to learn. God had given her a gift and she passionately prepared herself to teach. At home in the evenings, the three friends began teaching people about the love of Jesus. Soon, their home church was becoming so large they were outgrowing their space. One evening, Paul shared with his friends, I'm thinking of moving to a new city. Priscilla's heart fell. She and Achilla would miss Paul dearly. But I want to take you and Achilla with me. Would you sail with me to plant a church in Ephesus? Yes, said Achilla and Priscilla together. Soon, the three friends were sailing far away from Corinth, surrounded by nothing but the deep blue sea. During the voyage, the waves crashed fiercely around them. They fled under the deck to avoid being tossed from the rocking ship. Praying together, Priscilla, Achilla, and Paul pleaded with God, Help us reach Ephesus safely. The next day, they saw land. Ephesus! After landing in Ephesus, Paul continued to travel. Priscilla and Achilla set up a church in their home, just as they did in Corinth. Often Priscilla and Achilla preached about Jesus at the synagogue where Jews met to worship God. One day as they entered synagogue, they heard a deep, booming voice. My name is Apollos. I studied the Bible for many years in Egypt. Priscilla and Achilla sat down to listen to a towering man whose eyes were alight with passion. Apollos knew the scriptures and Jesus, just as they did. 
But Priscilla noticed Apollos was missing a big part of Jesus' story. Achilla, Apollos doesn't know that after returning to heaven, Jesus sent the Holy Spirit to be with us all the time. We need to tell him. So they invited Apollos for dinner and shared how the Holy Spirit is like a best friend who always helps us. What amazing news! Apollos couldn't believe what he was hearing. He stood and wrapped his arms around Priscilla and Achilla. I can't wait to share how the Holy Spirit is always with us. At that moment, Priscilla remembered what her mother had said. God has given you the gift of teaching and has big dreams for you to use your gifts. Each stage of her life had prepared her to teach Apollos, working hard in school, studying scripture with Paul, and teaching and leading in their home churches. God had equipped Priscilla to teach one of the greatest scholars of the early church. Many came to know Jesus through Priscilla and Achilla. Like Apollos, countless others traveled around the world, sharing what they first learned in Priscilla and Achilla's home church. Priscilla praised God that God had bigger dreams for her than she could have ever imagined. <laughs>